Okay, so baby season's gone crazy, and I keep forgetting to show you guys a bunch of babies. But our baby rack is full already, and we have another clutch in the incubator. Um, crouching down because I have it on the tripod already. Um, <clears throat> we are going to be at the Midwest Reptile Expo in Indianapolis, October 30th. And, I mean, August 30th, I'm sorry. So this weekend, today is the 25th. It's hot in here, sorry. So this weekend we'll be there. Um, if you guys want to come say hi, it's on the 30th, which is a Sunday this weekend. Um, just look at it. It's a convention center. I forget the name of it. Um, just look up. Search Midwest Reptile Expo. And yeah, so if you guys want any of these babies I'm going to show you um, and you're interested, put it down in the comments. And I mean, I can meet you there and everything. We'll have a booth. You'll see us. We have a big sign and everything. But I'm going to show you guys the babies right now. Had a bunch of a bunch of clutches hatch, and there's about 50 new ones in here. So check them out. Okay, first baby we have is a normal 100% hat pied. We have a highway just shut out for its first shed. Still need to clean his little tub. Beautiful. Don't know what sex it is yet. Beautiful. We have. A ivory 100% hep pied, or 66% hep pied. Eats like a monster. We have Moldy, the little tiny baby I've been updating everyone on. Doing fantastic. In the middle of the shed. He has eaten a bunch of times. Over and over and over, doing great. This is a pastel, don't you dare, <laughs> a little nippy. Pastel Enchi 100% Het Hypo Clown. It's a double head Hypo Clown. Dirty Tub, normal double head Hypo Clown. We have another highway. First shed, awesome looking, like look at this cool little pattern. Remember a bunch of these are gonna be available at the show with us this Sunday. We have a pastel banana double het hypo clown female looking. Awesome. A little grumpy right now, it's fine. They're babies. We have another pastel banana. Double het hypo clown. Female. We bring in two of these to the show as well. They just have like almost white heads and purple all over their backs. They're awesome. About to go through their second shed soon. Eating great. Um, we, also we also got this one, which is a holdback, but showing you everything that we've hatched. Look at how orange that head is. This is a banana enchi, 100% hypo clown female. Just looking so good. Keeping this girl for us. We got, these are still, a, I don't know yet for some of these, to see if they're Candino or Candy or Albino even. It's hard for me to tell. This is my first clutch of candy that I've hatched. But these are Enchi alone. And I'm 99% it's at least a Candino. It's really hard to tell in pictures or in video right now, but this thing, all that white right here, is like a pinky lavender. So I know this is an, an Enchi Candino at least, maybe even a pure candy. This one is also a Candino because I've brought, I bought Candinos as babies and she already has a pink in here. But you can see the pattern difference and you can see the head of an Enchi. 
on this guy. So we got a clutch of six for these. Another one still waiting to shed. Another Enchi Candino or Candy. Don't know, look at the crazy blushing all over it. Doing awesome. Another one right here. Which is, I believe, is this one's Candino as well. His eyes are still a little ruby compared to normal albino super pink eyes. These ones are all staying with me until they start their color change. But there's another one. I think this one's albino because it's not as bright, but we'll be able to tell soon. Still a beautiful snake. Okay, here's the three stunners for the clutch. We have a Gene X Pied. We have an Orange Dream 50% probably about 70% pattern pied. And then we have this orange dream pied that is literally 99%. Unbelievable. These guys just turned out so cool. Try and get them to open up for everybody. I keep getting a million messages about these. Um, I thought this was a yellow belly pied because it looks like it, but my male, the females are just a pied and the male is a pastel OD het pied and he's also possible Gene X from Justin Kabelka and this is what Gene X pieds look like. So unreal snake. Adore this one. They're just all so orange and so pretty. Gonna make them open up some for us. Come on. I believe we're keeping both the orange dreams so far. I don't really know, I like them all. It's gonna be a hard year. We got a nice little emoji right here on this one. A little jack of lantern head. This color in person you guys have watched Ozzy Boyd videos. He talks about the orange just glows in person. It's really hard to tell in video. But this is just an awesome trio. So happy with these guys. Um, we have a female, female, and a male. Couldn't be happier with these snakes. Looks like he's gonna try and get me. None of these ones have struck me yet, but we'll find out. Super happy with these. Um, we also got a normal het pied and two orange dream het pieds from this, that those all three will be available. So I'll show you those next. Here's the other two siblings from that clutch. We have a OD, 100% het pied female right here. And then we have an Orange Dream 100% Pied male right here. My camera is really hot right now for me filming a bunch of stuff, so it might not be getting the greatest quality. But there, all this is super orange and this is nice and chocolatey blushing. It's really hard to tell in the video, I hope it's coming through. But they're awesome little babies. Both of these are available right now. OG, OD 100% het pied, OD 100% het pied, male and female. Okay, let's see some more. We got a pastel, also 100% het pied. All these guys are available. Okay, got four more ivories right here. I got three. Females right here, not het for anything, but they are awesome white snakes and they get to be solid white as adults, with, sometimes with a little yellow stripe down the back. 
another one right here that's just a male. So yeah, these will all be available at the show as well. Midwest Reptile Show. And the latest clutch, this one just hatched. These are all about to shed. We have two pastel het clowns, 100% het clowns. They're big babies too, if you can't tell get rid of the other ones. They're really big babies, all these are. So we got these two pastel het clowns. We got a super pastel 100% het clown. And then we got a clown. So that's how you can tell they're all 100% head clown as well. Dad was a pastel clown. Mom was a pastel head clown. Possible leopard, which brings us this awesome pattern. Could be some leopard in there, but I think it's just a pastel clown. Which brings us to the last one that we got. That's our holdback, but I'll show you that. which is a leopard killer clown. So killer clown, just a super pastel. Here's why you say killer, hasn't shed yet. That's why it's all graying out already, but yeah, this thing looks so sweet opened up. He'll show off how cool he is. Like, look at that snake. Look at that pattern. Unbelievable. So pretty. Can't wait to see them grow up. Yeah, that's what you can get with these, though, if you're trying to make your own stuff. This is the end goal right here. So you can get killer clowns. Or more. More combos. Here's the ingredients to make this at the bottom. Super pastel clown. Super pastel het clown to a pastel het clown get this awesome and but this one actually has leopard as well but still awesome snakes that's the last clutch um i got some more i got one more clutch in the incubator and we're waiting on three more so yeah it's gonna be super super busy at the show but come by and see us we're also gonna be at tinley this year as well so next tinley whenever they're gonna Keep it on the schedule, hopefully. So, all right, guys. Well, if I see you this weekend, come by and say hello. Grab a sticker from us. We have a bunch of stickers I'll be giving away at the show to people. And yeah, come by and say hi. See you guys.